as we are getting close to the top of uh, descent. Uh, what we're gonna do is have a look at uh, setting up the uh, the arrival for Istanbul. So the first thing uh, we're gonna check the uh, recall. There's nothing there. There's nothing on the status. And there's no notes on the descent checklist. It's all good. And uh, we take a last uh, weather check. Istanbul destination. Oh, here it is. I thought I was disconnected for some reason. Uh, so at the moment 10:20, so that was uh, there might be an update fairly soon. Uh, it looks like the updates are at 15, but at the moment it was uh, at 10:20 Z at least. Uh, 190 at 8, varying between 160 and 230 degrees, so it's a little bit changing and variable. Uh, Cab okay, which is good. Uh, 22 degrees, 1025. Okay. So it's gonna be runway 23. They tend to use uh, runway uh, 23 or runway 05 for landings and then uh, most of the time uh, 35 uh, left for takeoff so they've got they've got all these uh, traffic flows in uh, Istanbul it's uh, quite interesting actually so I uh, will go on uh, departure arrival go for ILS uh, 23 I'll go for the uh, NSU 1 Charlie and uh, yeah maybe the uh, Bravo Kilo Zulu transition we'll see how it works out uh, execute uh, then from uh, NSU expecting uh, vectors again NSU let's look at this so we can step through the all the waypoints so we've got Gurgi relax uh, NSU NSU again I'm not really sure what it's doing there uh, Let's look at the chart oh, It's NSU to uh, call loop so Take CRL and put it here yeah. So you see that's why you've got to kind of uh, check the database um, not that it happens often, but uh, the database can be wrong. And then, if the database is wrong, you're flying the, the wrong thing. Charlie or Romeo Lima. And then the 613 Gevla. Check 614, 615. Yeah, that, that never finishes. So what we're gonna do, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is that we're not gonna fly all the way along that downwind from the 617. We're gonna shortcut to uh, Bravo Kilo Zulu. And now we've got some sort of uh, downwind base leg and then uh, the LS23. That looks a little bit more reasonable. Uh, the Bravo Kilo Zulu, we're gonna put uh, 180 knots. So this time it's okay to uh, just enter the speed because we already have an altitude at uh, Bravo Kilo Zulu. Otherwise, uh, entering as we uh, discussed earlier on, entering uh, just the speed uh, wouldn't uh, wouldn't work. Uh, set and then the CI 23, the center fix. Item marker 3.1 degree and glide slope. Uh, that's almost correct, it's in real 3.2. Not sure what we're gonna get here in the simulator. And then the missed approach. Uh, it's a right turn, I think. Yeah, right turn going to check. 
checkmate shit with you are and uh, 4,000 feet and at two and a half yeah we go on the runway track and then at two and a half we turn right okay that's great cool it's all in there All I want to do is uh, check the VNAV, the forecast is all in there with the transition level, it's good, the legs page is good. The NAVRAD, we can see we've got the ILS frequency there, uh, but uh, it's 11.9, uh, uh, so it's automatically uh, tuned, but well, we can ch check here now we have the correct frequency, and according to the chart is 11.9. Uh, track of uh, 235 inbound, that's correct. Um, then uh, we'll check the uh, landing uh, weight. So, like always, what I do check the landing fuel 8.2, then go to the uh, init ref uh, performance page 230.3 is the zero, point, uh, the zero fuel weight. It's gonna give us a landing weight of uh, 238.5. So then we come back to init ref key there and uh, enter the weight 238.5, which is a good weight for the 777 to land. 238.5 with uh, flaps 30. It's gonna give us uh, 146 knots and we'll fly uh, 151 on the approach. Um, so that's set. Then uh, the minima. Get one minima, 290 feet. So we'll wind it down. Oops. Ah. 290, and then the QH was 1025. That and uh, finally the auto brake uh, will go for four because it's a fairly short runway, it's only about 2600 meters and we are fairly heavy. I don't want to uh, run uh, away <laughs> from uh, the runway, so we'll, uh, we'll stop. Uh, route uh, air traffic uh, controllers, uh, hey, <laughs> hi hi Jackie 98, yeah back in time for the descent. Uh, route controllers, no not really, but like everybody else sometimes you've got, you know, people who are in a bad mood and you can you can hear and they're like, you know, a ton of voice that um, they are a little bit annoyed or something, but no, nothing, uh, nothing major. Uh, Quadex Gaming, uh, yes I am. And then finally, like uh, that's really a personal thing. Uh, put the uh, runway and there. That's eight mile ring and the MSC. Where's the MSC there? Hey, thank you very much for the follow, uh, Melissa Bubble. Melissa Bubble, cool. Welcome on board. I don't know if it's a miss. Maybe it's a miss. If it's a miss, you're even more welcome on board. Um, and uh, MSA is on Istanbul. And it's uh, oof, a lot of traces there. So we'll take the what well, looks like the closest. Set the 25 DME. Yeah, that was the right Istanbul. We can see it there. This is cool. I quite like that uh, emoticon. <laughs> it's quite cool. Uh, FMC message reset MCP altitude. Yeah, it wants to uh, start the descent. So that's what we'll do. We'll go down to I don't know one five zero initially, whatever it is. 
So yeah, so we're gonna go for that uh, NSU uh, one Charlie arrival, um, which I kind of customized a little bit. We had to check the uh, sequence of waypoints, and then on the downwind, uh, we'll turn a little bit uh, earlier than uh, what's on the uh, chart. We're not gonna follow the vectors on downwind for like uh, 40 miles, and then it's the Alice uh, runway 23, which is all set. Uh, the one thing I'm not sure if it's gonna happen in the simulator or not. It's uh, f a little bit steeper than usual, not too bad, but it's a uh, 3.2 degree glide slope. So it'll be interesting to see if it's uh, there in the simulator as well. And uh, yeah, um, and then landing on runway uh, 23 with a uh, fairly uh, short runway for the 777, above all at uh, almost 240 tons. Uh, so we've got auto break 4, we'll use the reverse thrust, of course. And then navigating on the right and taxiing uh, via what's at least on the scenery, Sierra Kilo to uh, stamp 208, I think it is. That's about it, really. There's not really any traffic around, there's no ATC, that's not really a problem. Hi, Melissa. Um, Guten Tag. That's uh, as far as my German goes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Idle. So here we are starting our descent. We'll call our dear friend uh, Multicore Experience. Wake him up. Descent checklist. Descent checklist. Recall. Checked. Can't read. Checklist. Item. N O T E S. Checked. Auto brake. As required. Now set. Down the data. Set. Approach. Refit. Complete it. Descent. Checklist complete. Very good. To listen to uh, ATC, uh, hi hi uh, Jackie98. I like that name, it's great. Um, above all, the you know ATC with accent. And the thing is, is to try maybe to. Um, um, what's the word? To try to uh, think in advance of what's coming next. So, um, if you know, for example, you're gonna change from um, from one controller to the other. If um, if there is like um, you know a possibility to find out what the what the frequency is in advance, or or listen to other traffic around. And uh, yeah, try to uh, to anticipate a little bit what's coming next. It's uh, it's quite useful. Um, otherwise, I um, I guess practice makes bet better. I guess. I uh, don't worry about your English. Your English is fine. We're not. We're not here to uh, thank you very much for the follow, um, uh, Brownie0203. We're not here to assess your English. I mean, my English is is, uh, is not fantastic, so it's all right. We're here to uh, kind of uh, share a bit of, uh, of a simulation moment and uh, interact with each other. That's really the main thing. But yeah, it, uh, to come back to uh, listening to ATC and stuff, it, it does uh, it does help. Also, if you have uh, at home and uh, depending uh, where you are in the world, if you're close to an airport, maybe and you can do it because in some places you can't. Uh, but uh, buy one of those uh, little uh, uh, radios and then listen to ATC around where you are. 
at least although I mean it's gonna be the uh, the accent or the English where you, where you are in the uh, in the world but at least you you get to you know to practice the you know and hear all the phraseology and stuff and you get to hear depending if it's an international airport you know pilots you know uh, foreign pilots with obviously their accents and stuff so that that will help and then uh, wherever you're flying you know as I said try to anticipate you know the the calls and kind of uh, know what to expect Uh, is there an aircraft I would like to fly? Yeah, this, uh, I would quite be uh, keen on uh, the uh, the seven eight uh, seven. Um, I would be quite keen to f uh, to fly that. Uh, actually, I'm gonna get rid of that speed restriction. Uh, I should have got rid of it earlier, but we have speed. Uh, yeah, the seven eight seven will be uh, will be cool. Yeah, RJP01, you are in a very, very good place. I mean, Manchester is, uh, is a busy airport, obviously, and uh, a lot of uh, international traffic. And if you are like six miles under the ILS 23 right, then you're in a good position. You probably uh, uh, can hear um, everything, even uh, the stuff on the airport, you probably can hear it. Yeah, the 787 I will be interested to fly. Um, I'm not an Airbus man, I may, I may have a uh, French connection, but uh, I'm not really an Airbus man. Um, the 747 would be uh, interesting to fly, but uh, yeah, the 78 is, is a good one. Ah, uh, we'll see. We'll see about the 78. As I said earlier on during the stream, we're supposed to be uh, qualified for both the 777 and the 787 as well. Uh, on the license, it's the same uh, qualification. Um, if you put me directly on the 787, I mean, I may have a clue about, you know, some of the stuff, but uh, initially it might be a bit of a, of a shock to the system. <laughs> so, um, on paper, you might be qualified, but, I mean, they wouldn't uh, obviously let you out, uh, you know, by yourself like this without doing some sort of... Uh, uh, conversion course and or at least a familiar familiarization well it's a bit of a tongue twister um, so yeah all right ding ding for the cabin crew So Istanbul can be uh, very, very uh, busy in real uh, the airport. I don't know if some of you have been to uh, Istanbul airport, but it's uh, it's uh, overcrowded. Um, thank you very much for the follow, uh, Asteni Ternal. Welcome to the stream. Welcome aboard. Yeah, it's a fairly. Um, fairly overcrowded airport it's uh, really really busy on the ground uh, sometimes you have to wait until you get your gate and all that stuff so drag required well that's okay the speed is fine and uh, the airspace around as well is uh, very very busy I think there's a new uh, airport uh, which is gonna be built uh, near uh, Istanbul, so that's uh, that will help with the congestion. But uh, at the moment, it's uh, really, really congested. Check this out, we well, got the water. Cool.
Yeah, I mean, I, I used to uh, to listen to uh, you know the with the scanner like in the UK, and I mean, if you see, maybe you know, yeah, maybe I have to be a little bit discreet about it, but I never got to trouble for it. I mean, you can see, um, I think in Manchester in particular, you've got that pub uh, close to the close to the runways, and. Um, I mean, there's always like you know, paint spotters there, from what I understand, and it's uh, never been a problem. Uh, I was also at that, uh, as some of you uh, might know, I was at that uh, Panorama Terrace at uh, Amsterdam Schiphol Airport a couple of weeks ago, and uh, up there there were like people with the uh, scanners as well. Uh, it was uh, it was not a problem. In some parts of the world, it can be a problem, but uh, I guess like in Europe, usually they are fairly relaxed about it. So I wouldn't worry, uh, depend, obviously depends on the, the part of the world you're in, but if you're in Europe, uh, I wouldn't worry too much about like the, the scanner. But don't go and uh, if you get <laughs> if you get into trouble, uh, don't go and tell people that I've told you it was okay to do that, you know, you are your own, uh, um, you are your own person and you take your own decisions, please. Uh, as the near, um, oh, this one is hard to tell. Uh, as the night tunnel, yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, no, if don't worry so much about it. I mean, as uh, RJP01 said, you know, you've got shops that sell them. If if shops sell them, then it's you know, it's not like a, a big, a big, big, big concern. Okay, here's the airport right ahead so we're gonna go downwind right hand and then come back to land runway uh, 23 there it's quite a spectacular spectacular tongue twister again spectacular view that's the uh, the link between uh, Europe and Asia beautiful Uh, Melissa, how old am I? Uh, I'm gonna be uh, 40, 40. Uh, the first flight on a triple seven. Can't remember to tell the truth. Yeah, sorry, I would need to check that one. Maybe I don't know. It's a few years now. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> Mave 64, Rude, Rude Medar. I know a bit of Dutch as well. <laughs> so he wants to go 220 knots, so I will go 230, it's okay. Fly level change, 230. So we set 7, so it'll be good good idea to go on the QNH 1025. Let's have a look at the latest uh, weather. No, it's thinking about it. LTBA. Yeah, 1050 to 108, still varying a little bit, Cavalcade 21 and 1025. Cool. Thank you very much for the follow. Uh, what was that? Mave 64, I thought you were already following. Oh, you must have lost me somewhere along the way. No worries. Oh, cool. A young lady.
Yeah, it's uh, it's a little bit of a midlife crisis for everybody, I guess. <laughs> Ten thousand descending flow. Okay. Ready for the checklist. Right. I'm not gonna call him for the checklist because he's uh, trolling me on the checklist. So ultimatums is one zero two five set. The pro checklist complete. Cool. We'll go down to four thousand. Uh, we'll go on uh, heading now. Uh, heading select, kind of uh, give uh, radar vectors. It's funny, the aircraft is uh, bouncing up and down a little bit. The weather engine must be creating a few, uh, a few bumps, like a little bit like thermals. Quite interesting. showing we're about 200 feet high on the profile it just maybe extend a little bit the downwind as uh, there's no rush here MZ189 uh, hi good uh, afternoon I guess maybe I don't know hello hello Istanbul are there. Uh, the airport is back here. So I'm not a monster of geography, but I believe that's the, the kind of uh, water that separates the city in uh, two bits. Uh, basically uh, between uh, Europe and Asia but I might be wrong I don't know flaps one speed check flaps one selected Flaps 5 Flaps 5 Selected Flaps Verified OK What's the runway in use? Runway 2-3 He always wants to know what the runway is It's a good man Very conscientious So we'll turn uh, base leg, we're quite far, 18 miles out, so that's not too bad, 6,000 feet, the altitude is good. And the rate of descent is more than enough there. Uh, what we're gonna do is take uh, an intercept course to the ILS, so we'll go departure arrival. Uh, yeah, that's a simulator thing, because I'm not paying attention. Um, so go to uh, B, no, it's not BKZ intercept, so we can't do it. So we'll go to CI-23, 
take the inbound course which here is 233 but normally it's uh, 235 and uh, execute and now we've got the uh, intercept course we'll go approach mode armed and we've got localizer and glide slope armed we can reduce the rate of descent and the speed a little bit virtual 170 good afternoon welcome to the stream Take a bit of a closer cut on the ILS. 20210 will be fine actually. Cool. Uh, everything is in order. I can kind of distract myself a little bit. The airport over there in the background, the city on both sides of the water. Let's see, there's a, a nice bridge here. Quite cool. Alright, I'll come back in the fly deck. The localizer is now very far there. I should intercept the localizer fairly soon. Localizer captured. And then the glide slope is alive here. Flaps 15. Flaps 1. 5. Selected. Flaps verified. Light sub captured. Uh, 4,000 feet for the missed approach. Altitude is set. Yeah, I agree, uh, Virtual 170 is a cool aircraft. So it does look actually fairly steep because the speed is increasing. Right, let's fly. Flaps 20. Flaps 2-0, selected. Verified. Flaps thirty. Flaps three zero selected. Twenty five hundred. And the landing checklist is uh, complete. Cool. Flaps verified. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, flew, uh, I fly more or less all the variants, uh, virtual uh, 170. Right, yo. Not sure why I get white, but I'm on the glide slope, so. We'll see what the scenery is doing. Right, here comes the motion. Flight director. And I fly the aircraft manually. The wind is, uh, is above headwind, which is good. Uh, I do prefer the 300, uh, I find it a little bit more kind of stable, I guess maybe because it's a little bit longer, and uh, the 200 uh, LR in particular has 
checked uh, the 200 LR tends to be a little bit overpowered above all if it's not very heavy um, so yeah the 300 ER is really nice And on the puppy is uh, coming back in check now, it's good. First time I use this uh, scenery, so I'm not really sure if the ILS is uh, well calibrated and stuff, it should be alright. Minimums. Cheek. Minimums. Landing. Doesn't look like a 3.2 degree glide slope though. 40, 30, 20, 10. Anyway, here we are. Yeah, the scenery is not too bad actually. It's a cool scenery. Auto break 4 is uh, this rating nicely. 60 knots, we can make the first exit, which is better. Instead of going all the way to the end. Hopefully the brakes won't be uh, too uh, too hot. Clap, clap, clap. Hey! Oh, here, you know, it's... It's... Um, it's quite different from uh, landing this thing on the on the simulator here to uh, landing the real thing so I'm not uh, overly uh, fussed about you know landing this thing it's alright after landing flow okay captain oh uh, I'm thinking I've said stand to the right but they are static uh, static aircraft I hope they are not uh, in the way After flow complete muchas gracias amigos um, replay or oh, um, yeah all done I'm not really sure how we're gonna do the replay to tell the truth Uh, maybe I'll try at the end. Let me get to the gate and then I'll try to work out something at the end once I'm uh, at the gate. Turkish Airlines, of course. They are heavier to land when you've got the weight of the yoke. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, uh, with the with the joystick there, it's quite difficult to have a feel for it. Uh, Leeds lad, eighty three. Hey, how are you doing? So two zero eight is in the corner here. Doesn't look like there's any static aircraft, so that's good. Be able to get in. Taxi in flow. Okay. Cabin crew repair all doors and cross check. Anyway, that was interesting with the martial art, there's some sort of guidance system as well, which is too far, oh, it's alright. Uh, anyway, uh, we've got the parking brake set. Uh, did he not start the APU? He didn't. I'll uh, we'll have to wait. 
Uh, give me the opportunity to uh, disarm the doors. So doors are manual, parking brake set. Uh, we'll shut down one engine first. Uh, yeah, taxi to gate. Yeah, I heard uh, when I did the, the search to find uh, this one. Um, I saw um, uh, taxi to gate. Yeah, but there are so many uh, sceneries around, you know, to get, and you can't get all the sceneries in the world. So uh, you have to make a choice sometimes. <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow, um, uh, Florian nineteen. Thank you very much. I thought the uh, first uh, the uh, multi core experience the uh, would have um, turned on the uh, APU, but he's not done it for some reason. I thought it was part of the flow. But just the uh, APU is running now, so we can shut down the uh, other engine. Shut down flow. Okay. Or shut down. Low complete. Ready for the checklist. Shut down checklist. Shut down checklist. Hydraulic panel. Set. Fuel pumps off. Flaps up. Parking brake. Set. Fuel control switches cut off weather radar off. Shut down checklist complete. Cool. Um, waiting for the cargo doors to open. Yeah, we'll open all the cargo doors. And uh, let's have a look outside. Uh, it's working out all right. He's <laughs> still. There's a, there's a jetway and he's also bringing the, the steps. Fantastic. Anyway, welcome to uh, Istanbul, Atatürk Airport, Lima Tango Bravo Alpha. <laughs> 